Hello everybody, JVC1103 here, welcome back to some more NASCAR Heat 4, we're returning back to our Xfinity Series Championship with the 18 of Jeffrey Earnhardt for race 10 of 25, and it's time to go to Charlotte, yeah I'm just going to do one more race. After the exciting conclusion of what happened last time out. Let's just say Talladega was wild if you didn't watch the last part of this championship. But anywho. Me being dumb, I skipped qualifying. So I'm on the back again. But that being said. Uh, let's get this race started. And apparently this sponsor, kind of oddly, was the sponsor for Bristol. Never noticed that until now. Well, at least the lawns are going to be clean. At least we're not the only fast car back here. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna have to stop. Oh yeah, most definitely. And Justin Elgon may be doing a back-to-back -back races, helping us out. Which I don't mind. Come on, I'm not that low. This will be the only track that we'll be visiting twice since Haha <laughs> Road Oval will be the next time we come back to this location. But I do not mind. I really kind of wish in NASCAR Heat 5 that they, they did put Daytona in the game. Since that was a part of the schedule. And if I ever do do the championship mode in NASCAR Heat 5, no, I will not do the COVID season. I'm sticking to what I usually do, and that's the one race per track championship. Even though that was interesting. Without Daytona, it kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, guys, come on. Thank you, Tommy. Greatly appreciate it. And we have cracked the top 20. And Chase Briscoe is gone. <laughs> well, at least we came in here with a big point lead. Seriously, you didn't watch Tyler Digger. That was a much walk. That would that say must watch. All right, I was quick on the button right there. Uh, laps remaining. That's going to be... Oh. 21. 21, 18. Yeah, I'm going to stay out. <laughs> And everyone's staying out. <laughs> we ain't gonna make it if we pit. If this was a, at least three laps more, I think we could have done it. But they caution did help us a little bit. We can go a little bit further now. Woo, that was close. Oh, 
Oh, no three wide in the trouble. All right, we're good. Looks like Brandon Brown is getting on the program. Oh, baby, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Beep, beep, coming through. Ooh. Excuse me, Nora Gregson. Excuse me, Justin Helley. Thank you much. So much. Appreciate it, you guys. And I'm going to just speed my way into the top five. Hi guys, how you feeling? The power having a fast talk. And knowing how to work pitch strategy. Question is, do I pit early to get the undercut? This is the Xfinity series. You're gonna have to play a little bit more strategy outside the Cup series. This, when we come, if you don't know, we're gonna have to do the 600 and that's gonna be the longest race when it comes to this 13% roof I do. Because 52 laps here in Charlotte with the Cup series. Shenanigans will happen during those two pit stops. Shenanigans will definitely happen. That's one race I cannot wait for, to tell you the truth, when we get to the most NG Cup series. But for right now, we somehow work from the back to the front. Our tire wear is pretty much what when some issues. We should be able to make it, hopefully. Okay, so we're about five laps short. Maybe make that six lap short with that change right there. So, okay, the tire wear is bad. We're gonna have to change tires. Question is, what do we do? I would have really loved that to go green. We don't need full fuel. And I'm going to risk it and take only two tires. And just in case, I'm going to tighten up the car. We got the we got the lead. Sweet. Got enough for you for one green wire checker, but we're on mixed match tires. Just gotta wait a couple laps for the lefts to come in. Oh, baby! Wasn't expecting that to happen. That was, that was almost disaster right there. Maybe I should have took him four tires. Good to know. Yep, should have took more tires. 
Christopher Bell, you're not helping. Yep, knew it. Please. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So what have we learned, everyone? Take four tires. Yeah, boy. We somehow found a way to throw this race away. Two times is not the way to go, and thank you, Christopher Bell. Great to be a great teammate to both of us right there. Great job. I would say it would be a very good thing to have a caution right now. The caution should have came out the lap after we went restarting this one. So they can get the four tires. We make it start with your top five. All things considered. Alrighty. The back end may be loose, but if it stays like this, uh, we may have a shot at this. She's definitely loose, as you can tell. Yeah, she is super loose. The left front is hurting. You only got two to go. If I play with the throttle in the turns, we may can do something. Oh, we definitely can do something. That actually worked out. Just be easy in the throttle in the turns. Just sacrifice some speed. Don't be too close. We're kind of stuck in a box here. We got to be literally perfect on this restart. Because <laughs> if we're not, we're going to be wrecking. It's that bad. Oh, we got something. Let all that start. I have to stay on the throttle right here. And then off. Just coast it to get back into control. There we go. That left front is hurting. Just don't. Oh boy. Woohoo, Nelly. Ten races in, and we already got six victories. Oh boy. Well, there's 15 more races. And we definitely helped our cause with this victory. Not gonna lie. I didn't really think that strat was gonna work. But somehow, it did.
there. Look, Ross Chastain got another good finish. Finally. And Justin Alcott started 37th, finished 13th. If only we had a green flag pit stop. Bad day for Norm Gregson. Them be sometimes the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a two tire strike did not work out. But somehow the tires found a way to even out just enough. Just enough and barely. Oh, oh my. <laughs> well, we got that race lead, but like I said, we got 15 more races. That bad finish did not help Norman Gretchen. Oh, and that's what happened to Norman Gretchen. Ooh. Ouch. Well, that solves that problem. Onwards to victory lane. No, well, that was to be expected. He was up front most of the race. That's kind of awkward. I'm kind of amazed we actually led 11 laps. And that's to be expected. And, well, the sad news of the race. You hate to be that fast guy and little mechanical problems take you out of it. But that would be racing everybody. And with that, this video is at a close. I'm JVC1103. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time for more gameplay content, hope to see you all soon. Be safe everyone. And...